Good evening. They were claims designed to promote the benefits of expanding London's ultra-low emission zone and heard by millions of people across the capital. But tonight, bosses at Transport for London are in hot water after the advertising watchdog found the company had misled the public on three occasions in a radio advertising campaign. The claims included one that suggested most air pollution-related deaths actually occur in outer London areas. However, after more than 500 complaints, the Advertising Standards Authority concluded that was misleading. Well, TfL and the Mayor are refusing to accept that and stand by the science. With the latest, here's Carolyn Sim. We've seen almost a halving of levels of nitrogen dioxide. According to research, one of the most polluted places in London is inside your car. Did you know that most air pollution-related deaths actually occur in outer London areas? Three claims made in three radio ads, which the advertising watchdog said today weren't backed up by specific evidence, and Londoners have been misled. When I first started hearing the advert, so January, February last year, I, um, I actually felt physically sick. I mean, I couldn't believe that this misinformation, this disinformation was allowed be put out on a public forum. The Advertising Standards Authority found that TfL and the GLA made claims which were based on estimates or modelled scenarios and not actual figures. How serious a mistake is this? Um, well, it's important that consumers on a matter of controversy like EULA such as this are presented with evidence which is, you know, uh, well thought through and which is accurate. They had the evidence for certain claims, they just didn't marry that up to the specific points they were trying to get across as consumers would understand them, as the public would understand them. It's quite embarrassing that this has happened though, isn't it? I think what's happened is that we've tried to make the statements as clear as possible for a short radio ad. They're in their full context in the reports and we can easily add that next time we use those claims. But they weren't completely accurate. So the claims are accurate. There's been no challenge to the fact of them. We haven't been told not to run those messages. We haven't been told to change the messages. We just need to add the additional information so that people can see what we're comparing them to. So that people can get a clear picture of the reality. Yes. TfL did prove, however, that London has an air quality problem and that ULES would go some way towards improving it. Rosamond Adukisi Deborah, whose daughter Ella was the first person to have air pollution listed as a cause for her death, says nothing should distract from that. There is no doubt any expert you speak to, the link between ill health and air pollution, that is a fact. And we can argue about the minor detail, it won't change things. It won't change the person who has never smoked. It is a learning lesson for all of us. When, when you've got a a platform, you need to be very, very, very clear where you are getting your information from. Knuckles have been wrapped and Sadiq Khan says the wording of future ads will take today's ruling into account. With an issue as controversial as ULES, many would agree he should. Carolyn Sim, ITV News.